Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Buff Breakdown. So JP just got Lost Build 6 Recollections and with that you read the title. Yes, we have the first ever buff to a Fey Knight Servant. And the servant in question is Balvan Seath aka Fey Knight Tristan of course. And uh, they went ahead and started with a banger, a big one, an MP buff, okay? And yeah, this is uh, this is a pretty good one, I want to say. I already read it, so let's see what we're working with here. So before the buff, she has a single target quick MP with a six hitter on it. Uh, before damage, she got sure hit for one turn, which is, you know, always nice to have some utility there. Then she does damage to the enemy. Uh, and then after damage, she applied a 1000 damage curse for five turns and also a five turn curse amplifier scaling with overcharge uh, with a base 200% increase all the way up to 400%. So that was the MP. Uh, personally, I thought the MP was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the sure hit is nice utility, but the curse was mostly a meme. I've seen some people that did actually do some curse stack, you know, trying to do make it do damage as well. And to an extent, it has been successful, but I still think at the end of the day, it was mostly still just a meme. So besides the sure hit, there was not really much to go on with here. It was a fairly standard damaging MP and that's about it. So let's see what they changed. Well, much like the previous MP buff we covered, we first of all, we have some stuff being moved around. So the first thing that happens is still the sure hit for one turn, that's not changed. But now, before damage, the 1k curse and the 5 turn curse amplifier scaling with overcharge, they are both now before damage as well. They didn't change the numbers or the scaling of the overcharge at all, those remain the same, but they are now before damage. You might ask why? Well, the new line will make it make a lot, well, a lot of sense. Because now, she also does additional damage, 10% super effective per curse on the target, scaling up to maximum of 10 stacks, aka a potential 100% super effective on the enemy. And of course, then you have the standard damage upgrade for the MP with the buff. Ooh! Ooh, is that spice or what? Okay, okay. So obviously the way this works is that every normal curse that does damage, like this one, the 1k one for five turns, is a 10% super effective uh, damage modifier onto the MP. Uh, the I'm pretty sure the amplifier itself does not affect this, okay? This is just there for the curse damage itself still, so let's not jump the gun. It's not like she immediately gets 20%. She gets 10% from this on the first MP. And again, it, it really is the first MP because now this is before damage, which is great. They could have honestly just left that as is and it still would have been a fairly substantial upgrade. But now that it's also before damage, that's that's great. I wish they would do more of this and hopefully they will now since there's like two in a row now for MP buffs. I really want to see like order of operations being improved and this is a, another real amazing example of it. Now, obviously, if you spam the MP, the more you spam, the more you get these curses. They are five turns each, so the uptime will be good, of course. So getting more and more damage will not be an issue. That's awesome. But then... In addition to the MP also obviously applying curse, you can experiment with stuff like uh, command codes. I believe curse command codes are probably the most common ones too, if I'm not mistaken. Curse or burn probably. I think the least amount we have is poison. So yeah, there's definitely no shortage of curse uh, CCs. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could probably equip her entire deck with curse command codes. And with this, you might honestly go with that. I'm not even joking. It might beat all the other damage slash utility you could have on her. Because remember, every curse is 10% super effective on the MP, which is quite nice. Scaling all the way up to 100% with 10 stacks. Other things you can do is include other servants that provide curses like um, Dolman, for instance. Um, there, I believe they're a pretty great combo as is anyway, so Dolman can uh, supply you with a lot of additional curses from his skills at his MP as well. And again, this is just scratching the surface, but man, this is, uh, I want this is pretty crazy, right? I, I just want to say that this is a pretty crazy buff. She was already very solid. All the Fey Knights have always been very solid. Like, everyone has always been like an A tier minimum, and obviously some of them are top tier, like Melusine, for instance. But with this, wow, uh, man, the I guess they never need to buff her again, I want to say, because this is already real, real big, okay? So on the Archer tier list this year, I had her on the same tier as OG Tristan. I kind of personally still 
uh, preferred OG Tristan a little bit over her, just because he had that MP buff already that kind of gave him more damage potential. But with this, well, honestly, I want to say it's not even close anymore. Not only will she have more damage now, she even has that super effective bonus potential. So I was thinking maybe A plus at first, but dude, I think we have our first ever uh, top tier uh, four star for archers. Yeah. I, I, I don't think this is jumping the gun. I think this will make a huge difference. Because the only thing that she really was lacking on was a bit more damage. And this is not just a bit more damage. This is a lot more damage, potentially. So I'm I'm definitely all about it. I, I almost want to say this is was a perfect buff. I don't think they need to ever buff her again. I think she is really stellar now. So there you go. Wow, Fey Knight buffs are no joke when they happen, which, you know, this is the first time, I guess, so the sample data is not huge, but just wow, okay. So there you go, wow, Fey Knight Tristan Balvan C has been buffed, and I want to say she is now top tier, very, very strong. So if you enjoyed this episode of Buff Breakdown, do be a solid and click the thumbs up button on this video. It really helps out, of course. And do subscribe not to miss out on future ones, because again, whenever there's new buffs, ya boy will always be here immediately covering them for you, of course. And shout out to my patrons on the screen right now and suit for being a big YouTube member tier. With that, I hope you guys have a great weekend ahead and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.